Amen. Amen. So um, we were still right here in chapter one. You know, it, it takes us a little bit uh, to be able to um, really get to where we're trying to go to. So I'm going to go ahead and go back a little bit and, you know, reiterate. I like to do this repetition thing so that that way we can really um, get what we're doing. And I may just end up after explaining some of these things, it may end up going back like I'm doing right now to just be able to reiterate what's happening. Okay. So let's start from the top. All right. Let me see if I can get there. All right. Proverbs chapter one, wise sayings of Solomon, a manual for living. These are the wise sayings of Solomon. David's son, Israel's king, written down so we'll know how to live well and right, to understand what life means and where it's going, a manual for living, for learning what's right and just and fair, to teach the inexperienced the ropes and give our young people a grasp on reality. There's something here also for seasoned men and women, still a thing or two for the experienced to learn, fresh wisdom to probe and penetrate, the rhymes and reasons of wise men and women. Start with God. Start with God. Start with God. The first step in learning is bowing down to God. Only fools thumb their noses at such wisdom and learning. Pay close attention, friend, to what your father tells you. Never forget what you learned at your mother's knee. Wear their counsel like flowers in your hair, like rings on your fingers. Dear friend, if bad companions tempt you, don't go along with them. If they say, let's go out and raise some hell, let's beat up some old man, mug some old woman... Let's pick them clean and get them ready for their funerals. We'll load up on top quality loot. We'll haul it home by the truckload. Join us for the time of your life. With us, it's share and share alike. Oh, friend, don't give them a second look. Don't listen to them for a minute. They're racing to a very bad end, hurrying to ruin everything they lay hands on. Nobody robs a bank with everyone watching. Yet that's what these people are doing. They're doing themselves in. When you grab all you can get, that's what happens. The more you get, the less you are. You know, I want you guys to be fully aware that when I hear these words, especially what we just finished reading right here, I says, uh, when you have people that entice you, they call you and they tell you, come on, join us, man. Let's go ahead and bust the jack move. Let's go ahead and just rob somebody. Let's go ahead and do them in. You know, you, you know, you're good with us, man. You know, everything is sharing, share alike with us. Oh, friend, don't give into them don't even look don't give them a second look don't listen to them for one minute this is what god's word is saying and look at what it says right here they're racing to a very bad end um take it from somebody that did all of that all of the time i mean it it was a it was a, a constant um bowl of nonsense as far as i was concerned and my life was in, in constant turmoil because every time that you take from somebody you're actually um violating some of the rules that god has set in place and these boundaries uh, uh, uh you, you're basically saying i'm god i'm in control i'm gonna do it my way and you might as well just everybody get out of my way because you know what i'm god here god However, the true living God, he is so uh, merciful, so kind, so generous that he would take people who do the things that we're reading about and turn their lives around. Yes, some of us may feel a little bit guilty because, you know, we have come from this type of background. But even if you haven't come from this type of background, it's very good to be able to pay attention and learn that, hey, man, don't give in to that type of um, so-called friends. If these people are calling you to go ahead and do something bad, remember that that's not a real friend. Real friends are going to um, be happy for you when you're doing good. They're not going to try to pull you down and pull you in into a bad situation. They're not going to go ahead and, and ruin your life and 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 and, and entice you and, 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 and pull you towards the place where you know you shouldn't be going. A lot of the times we are ignorant and we go ahead blindly like a, uh, like a cow being led to the slaughter and don't even realize that we are going to do our own selves in. We may end up in jail. We may end up um, um, having to pay double for what we have stolen or taken. Remember this, that you may get away with some things sometimes, but you can't get away with everything all of the time. Remember that there is a God in heaven and whatever you do down here on earth does not go without his notice.